Richelene, ProShaper.com, Charlton, Massachusetts. It's no secret I like Harbor Freight stuff. Harbor Freight does some pretty good tools and accessories. So this is their safety mask. Very well built, except for the little plastic nuts that uh, keep it from rotating. It becomes annoying that it, do it doesn't stay up. So I tried, this is a standard quarter 20 uh, nut that I put on there and I found out, oh, that's not quarter 20, that's a metric thread. It's a six millimeter by one metric thread. So, call up McMaster Car, ordered some six millimeter by one wing nuts. They go right on the thread really nice. So, got 25 of them, I think, for five bucks. So the deal is, that's not the only solution. So that goes on really nice. So now let's, we'll fix this one. I had a quarter 20 nut on there, it sort of worked, but that wasn't the solution. So I got some leather that we use to make beater bags with. And we got these, a little punch. I punched out these little leather circles here. And then another, this is actually a Harbor Freight tool too. Great little leather punch. So I go approximately in the center, pop a little quarter inch hole or so in the center here. And this is the uh, little spacer here. Oh, I gotta put that one on. Whoop. So these have a little groove that goes on this ridge. You put it on the ridge. This little spacer goes in here like this. And then that spacer has a little tab that fits in the little slot. So we got that. We put our leather piece on here. And we got a nice washer again from McMaster Car. Take the wing nut. Put the wing nut on there. Now you got a really good adjustment. These, the threads uh, didn't hold. You can only adjust them. Plus, they got the friction uh, just from the tightness of this surface against this other plastic surface. Two plastic surfaces didn't work. There's one, just one wing nut on one side and it's already holding the way I want it to. So now I'll take this one off and modify this side. And, uh, I like having a lot of these in the shop. I prefer these face shields over uh, glasses because a lot of times uh, if you have a cutoff wheel or something it blows up, uh, this will protect your face also. So, real important to, to get good coverage. So I put my new wing nut on there. And I can set the tightness now and see it and it'll stop anywhere I want it. So turned in awesome. Now these are replaceable masks. Unfortunately, it, it seems that face uh, uh, um, Hobb Afraid is not selling new glasses for these, the new plexiglass face for them, Alexian or whatever it is. I use uh, Windex and Windex will clean these up pretty good. Um, but they do get scratched and if you've got a lot of dust on them or overspray, they get really opaque after a little bit. So you want to change these out. And my welding supply uh, place, uh, Maine Oxy, is another uh, one of my main suppliers, uh, Maine Oxy from Maine. Uh, they're in Massachusetts here also, and a couple other states I believe. Uh, very uh, good company and they've got the, the mass I believe are about five bucks a piece. So. Um, you can keep changing these out. You just turn these little clips and pop this uh, new new uh, lens in. And it makes a really good uh, safety uh, shield. So I have these uh, all around the shop, so I don't have to go running for one if I need one. Now I've modified the whole bunch of them. I got a few more I got to do. Here's another one. I'll do this one. But uh, now we don't have this problem of drooping masks anymore. Got the problem solved. 